fake a quick riser using the operator in Ableton Live 9. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and throw an operator onto a blank MIDI track and create a new MIDI clip um, and set it to be a quarter note grid and let's put our length to be 8. Actually let's put it to be 10. And go ahead and place down some notes. I'm going to start with middle C in my case. There we go. And then I, I'm going to set my wave for my oscillator to be a saw D. I like that one. And I'm going to affect my envelope and increase my attack a little bit about 25 milliseconds and then we're going to go back into our MIDI clip and we're going to automate our uh, oscillator a fine frequency so an easy way to select that in your automation is just go ahead and highlight it here in uh, your oscillator and then go back to your MIDI clip and pull up your envelopes box and create a node on this side and create a node out here and actually looks like I'm missing some notes so we'll go all the way full 8 bars for this okay that looks good so we can just hear what that sounds like we are already going to have somewhat of a riser sounds good and next we need to do is throw a reverb on there, uh, dry right up to 100, size up to 500. I like the decay time to be around 8 seconds, give or take. And that already sounds pretty good. Uh, you could use that just fine. If you want, you can also automate your pitch as well and just add a little bit more of a riser to it uh, so you just go into MIDI control and select the pitch bend and we'll go ahead and just pull this up to max there we'll see how that is yeah, sounds good Last thing we're going to do is uh, record this to a new audio track so we can save this for later. And so I just create a new audio track. Make sure you have the input output highlighted. Uh, you'll be able to have that on the right hand side of your uh, mixer window. And that will enable you to uh, have this whole set of options here. So you need to have that on. Uh, go ahead and select the in monitor on your audio track and uh, for your operator track on your MIDI go have that bus out to your audio track. Pretty simple. So all the audio from operator 1 is going to be fed into audio 2 which is going to act as basically an audio bus. Um, the next thing you're going to do is click the record button and that arms your uh, recorder and let's reset this back to the beginning and just click record. And that's it, you're all done. So you have uh, your riser as a wave file and you can just save that in your library and use that for later. Thank you very much.